Jared Holtz is a healthcare sector strategist with Muzuho. He is here at the Nasdaq market site. Jared, great to have you with us. Thank you. Um, so, so what happens? Because you know the XBI had jumped, thinking, oh, we're going to see deals, so there's going to be targets, and then now what? Well, there still are so many deals to be had here. I mean, I th think that's the bullish argument. Um, this Amgen horizon is, is surely a curveball. Um, we've been talking about it all week since the news came out. I really don't think the government has a, a real great case here when we kind of like look at the detail. It's really around bundling volume discounts, which pretty much every corporation, every conglomerate does to some degree. So is Amgen a bad actor? Are they kind of getting back at them a little bit? Maybe. It just doesn't seem like from a, a true FTC market share perspective, there's anything to worry about here. So it's a little bit of an anomaly. We'll work through it. Does it crush M&A hopes? Maybe over the very near term, but I think this gets worked out. Let's say it gets blocked. Would that just mean the end of M&A across the board? Because, I mean, the whole point of M&A is to acquire new drugs in pipelines and to have some sort of efficiencies, consolidation, right? Well, the absurd thing is that on one hand, the government is saying we're going to, you know, we're going to meddle around with the pricing dynamic. We're going to make sure that prices come down and that impacts the financial statements of all of the large cap companies. But on the other hand, they're saying, well, you can't go acquire assets which are going to supplement or complement your existing business. It seems a little bit unfair to, you know, poke them both ways. But we'll have to see. It would, it would certainly be, be detrimental, I think, for this entire small and mid-cap biotech complex if we're, were to be voted down. Um, but it, at the same time, it would be, would be unprecedented, I think. It, I mean, it would seem like I don't know how they could force them to do it. They're, they're companies that are sort of innovative, but it's not their, that's not their expertise to convert from an innovative drug to a widely distributed manufactured drug. I, that... I mean, that part doesn't make sense. Who, who else could buy them? Or do, how, do they, how would they possibly do that? Well, all the innovation is happening at the small and mid-cap biotech level, right? The, right? the large cap pharma corporations are really commercial entities. They're marketing machines. And so much of the actual drug discovery and innovation, what have you, is happening with, you know, within the XBI complex type of stocks. And so it just doesn't make sense that you would disallow marketing companies, commercial companies, that are ac actually providing access to the drugs from these drug development engines vis-a-vis -vis a horizon or, you know, hundreds of other names we could talk about. I mean, generally for the sector as a strategist, uh, it's sort of been a one-way trade to be underweight pharma and to be overweight managed care, right? United Healthcare is the largest stock in the sector and managed care has outperformed eight out of the last 10 years. Do you think that trade continues or is it time to maybe back away from managed care? Well, I think it probably continues over the short term. I mean, if this Horizon deal gets blocked, it's actually arguably worse for pharma than it is for biotech, right? Because you're disabling the ability of all the companies in, in pharma to actually improve their businesses and pivot and acquire assets that they're going to need later down the road. So I feel like if this Amgen deal gets blocked, I would want to be short large cap pharma for sure. It sounds from your note like you thought that maybe biotech would pick up despite the trouble charts, even in spite of the FTC move, the, the doubts over Pfizer C-Gen on top of Amgen Horizon, you still say go ahead with XBI, that trade? I think so. I mean, it's dampened the day for sure. I mean, I mentioned it in the piece earlier this week that, like, this was uh, definitely one of the variables at play. I just feel like the negativity around biotech has been so prevalent for so long and so many of the negatives in, in terms of the narrative are out there that it's just, it's time for the space to do better. And I, I do think other M&A deals will happen. Maybe this Horizon deal, there's idiosyncrasies about it that make it unique, but there's plenty more, you know, in this sector to choose from. 